What's up guys, Car Talker here, and today I'm here with another sleeve video. This time around, we just be going over the over sleeves. Uh, for the first layer or the standard sleeves, I'm not just gonna go over them because there's just way too many brands out there and there's also a lot of comic kit sleeves that don't really have a brand. So for those, those are really just up to you guys. If you like, I just like the design, you guys just buy a pack and then just leave it with a pair of uh, these over sleeves and then you guys will be good to go. Because uh, I believe the over sleeves are the main most important part of sleeving your deck because uh, that's that's like the main thing that protects it. So today I have here three uh, brands that I'm currently using that I really really like and for most of the decks that you see in my videos I'll be using this brand or these brands but there's also a few uh, older brands that I was using that I still use for some of my decks but I, I don't really buy them that much anymore. I'll also be showing you guys those. Uh, and I'll show you guys uh, what product it is on the screen. So, first off, let's go all over the main sleeves that I'm using now. Uh, the first one is the Yama Yanoman uh, C Z sleeves. These are uh, famous, very famous for giving you paper cuts. These are super thick and sharp, and these are one of the most durable sleeves I have ever used in my life. Uh, sleeves, the decks that I've been using these sleeves. I have never had changed them and they never broke on me. So these are uh, highly recommended. Each pack only comes with 50. You only need 50. Unless you're putting them through a paper shredder, I don't think they're gonna, they're gonna break on you. Um, yeah, I, I, shuffle, I usually, with, with these sleeves, I shuffle very violently and, uh, and, and you know, I just do all, all kinds of crazy stuff with my cards with, with these sleeves and, and they're fine. They're very durable. And uh, I'll show you guys one of the decks that I'm actually using these sleeves on. Um, and that's actually the this deck is using these sleeves. So if you have a look, uh, it's actually quite thick. And yeah, you're gonna get a lot of scuffs and stuff on them, but it, it's fine. It, it's the edges and stuff, they're all still very pristine, um, very durable. And they are a very, very good fit for your standard size sleeves. They have, they have a little bit of opening here, so depending on how, the size of your sleeves, because sometimes I think the top and the bottom are cut uh, a little bit uh, longer or shorter, depending on which company you guys buy from. But it'll most definitely fit. Sometimes you might have the sleeve that is a little bit wider, and that's okay, you just put them in. If you put it in your deck box and compress them long enough, it'll eventually bounce back and then it'll just fit nicely into the sleeve. So yeah, Z sleeves, very, very recommended. Uh, if you guys are using this for Vanguard, for the smaller size sleeves, you guys can use Z Junior, which, uh, let's see. Oh, yes, my Pazavara deck is using the Z ones. So these are the Z sleeves for the Vanguard size. I think for Vanguard, it's um, you'll see that the I think the sleeves are a little bit little bit wider, so there is a little bit of a it will squish it a little bit, but overall it will be fine. Like you won't really see that much uh, folding on the sleeves and stuff like that. Just a little bit, just a little bit, but it's fine. I think I think for most sleeves because it's the sleeves is very hard, so that's one of the uh, main reasons why. But it's okay. Uh, if you guys like to use the Bushiro ones, um, that's fine. I, I don't really like Bushiro. Those are Bushiro sleeves are the sleeves that break on me the most. They wear and tear very easily, and then their, their sides just split open. So uh, that's one reason why I'm not using the Bushiro ones. But the guys, yeah, it's Z sleeves. If you guys like hard sleeves, um, these are the ones to go. I think they also have matte ones now. So it's a one-sided matte, much like the Bushiro and Broccoli ones. Like I said, it's also as thick as these ones. I haven't tried them yet, but I probably will get them as soon as they're back in stock. Um, this brand is just very heavily used in my uh, locals now. So whenever it's out, whenever they have it in stock, people just, just buy it out. So pick up a pair of Z's if you guys like hard sleeves. For thin sleeves, uh, I use broccoli. I recommended this over and over again. Uh, pretty much every time I make one of these videos, I will recommend broccoli sleeves if you guys like thin sleeves. Uh, I'll show you guys one of my thin... Let me get this deck. Uh, yeah. Thin sleeves. 
So my Alphamon deck is actually using these. The one that you guys saw yesterday or the day before. So you guys look here. It is matte finish. They have a regular finish, full matte, and they have half matte and just just regular. I really like using the half matte ones. Uh, they shuffle really well. Uh, and sometimes when you get sleeves and you just put them together, if it's full matte, it'll slip over the place. If it's half matte, uh, it will usually stick, so it won't crump, uh, fall over the place, which is one of the main points that I like using these ones. And you guys have a look. This side, it is uh, gloss, and this side is the matte, so it looks really good. Uh, also, in if you're playing, if you're planning to record battle videos, then I I, I would recommend getting full matte just because uh, it doesn't have a, a glare. But personally, I don't like using full matte for everyday play, so that's why I get these half ones. But it will have a bit of a glare, as you guys can see here. But yeah, these are thin, very very nice. Uh, these, these also haven't bursted on me, I don't think. Yeah, these ones haven't broke on me. Not that I don't know of, but sometimes the edges do get a little bit of wear and tear. So that's when you need to change it. But one pack comes with 80. So if you're playing a 50 card deck, you have 30, spare, 30 spares. What I don't recommend is buying multiple packs of these and then um, mix and matching them with the sleeves. Because sometimes, uh, for all, this applies for all over sleeves in my opinion. Uh, their cut is different. Sometimes uh, it might be a little bit longer, just just a little bit. But you'll be um, when you shuffle your deck, it will feel it will feel wrong because it like this is all from the same pack, so it's very uniform because it's all cut at the same time. So you guys have a look here. You guys can see it's all uniform. Even the the marks here are all uniform and. Yeah, it, it just looks very clean. And yeah, one of the things that I worry about if you guys are using mixing and matching packs of sleeves, for example, you, have, uh, you use 50 from here for your Digimon deck and then you have 30 left, you buy another pack, you have you use 50 of those, you have 30 more from there and 30 more from here, so you use a 60 for another deck. Uh, these lines, they won't be uniform. Most likely they won't be uniform. And what happens is uh, some people might rule shark you and say that you're, you marked your sleeves. So just be very careful of that when you are playing in tournaments uh, and you're mixing your sleeves. I, that's why I don't recommend it. Um, it's, it's from personal experience. I have known somebody who got disqualified because someone accused them of marking the cards, but it was really dumb. All right. So that's uh, the broccoli sleeves. I really, really like these. and. Uh, what you can do if you have these spare sleeves is you can use that extra 30 or just extra 20 for Digitamas. So that's what I do. I'll have 30 Digitama sleeves and just, just use them for Digitamas and that'll be perfectly fine. And you'll have a lot. So if you buy a lot of packs, a lot of these packs, you'll have a lot of top, uh, sleeves to use for Digitamas. That way you don't have to crack open a new pack for your Digitamas. For example, if you use the Yaman Note sleeves, oh, yeah, sorry, sorry, Yama, Yan, Yanoman sleeves, you need 50, you don't have enough for Digitamas. If you have these laying around, just take these out and use them for your Digimon and they'll be fine. Uh, and last but not least, uh, we are talking about these new sleeves that I'm using. These are very, very cheap. These are RSS card sleeves. So if you guys look at these, these look really cheap as well. These are, I think they're like two, around two bucks USD per pack. They're like 10 RMB, the Chinese currency. Uh, they're a Taiwanese brand, I believe. So it's a Taiwanese website. Yeah, made in Taiwan. Made in Taiwan. So I did get these from China, but they are made in Taiwan. So these are really, really good. They're actually super durable. They're really cheap, super durable. I think out of the, all the sleeves I'm using right now, these are the best bang for buck. I, I buy them in huge batches. I buy these at like 10, 20 packs per purchase because they're so cheap. And I'll give you guys a look at how uh, it is after you sleeve up the deck. So here is a uh, small size. So they come in the small and the large. So this is uh, for standard size card sleeves and this is for uh, minis. So you can play, you can use these for Battle Spirits, Vanguard, Yu-Gi-Oh, 
any game that uses small card size cards. And then these are for standard, obviously for Digimon, uh, Pokemon, Digi uh, Digimon, Pokemon, uh, Flesh, Flesh and Blood, well, Magic, pretty much anything. So if you guys have a look at the this is my Yu-Gi-Oh deck that I use casually. So this is the sleeves. They are very thin, but these uh, I've been using these for I think three months now. They have not bursted on me. I thought these would be super flimsy and just just, just break really easily, but no, they they are holding holding strong. They are very clean. They're very clean cut. Uh, some of the Chinese China brand ones. That, that are the same price are usually not very clean cut. You guys have a look. You guys will know it's pretty uniform. Uh, there's one, one, maybe there's like one sleeve here that's not uniform, but yeah, it's uh, for the most part it's very good, very clean. And they shuffle really well. Like they shuffle really well, and they don't really stick together. And the fact that they're thin makes lets you put more stuff in your deck box, like for side deck cards or extra deck cards or whatever, G zone, whatever you want. So that's uh, the RSS sleeves. Let me show you guys how it looks like in a Digimon deck. So this is my Digimon, uh, my Beelzemon deck. This is the sleeve that I use for it. Um, this is the RSS. This is the ninety. 69 times 94. Uh, it's very, very clean. Feels very nice. Uh, so one of the problems I have with these is uh, sometimes if you uh, put the card in incorrectly, it might put a little indent on the sleeve. It's not too big of a problem. It won't, it won't burst the, the sleeve, but it, it just leaves a mark there a little bit. So if you guys are sleeving, you guys can be careful. But it doesn't overall doesn't affect the affect the deck at all. So you guys look here, it's very clean cut. These marks here, I don't know what they are, but uh, usually I don't think it'll be too big of a problem. I think it might might have been the little mark that... No, it's not. I don't know. I don't know where it, I guess it's just a cut a cut mark, but yeah, it's, I, don't I don't think you'll get too much in too much patrol for this. Uh, main problem with the different length of the sleeves when you guys are playing tournaments is when you cut if it's different marks you might have to cut that part and then just put your good card there so that whenever your opponent cuts it'll be, it'll be that part but it's, it's a little bit suspicious so uh there's a chance that may, they might call you out on that but yeah uh overall very very nice sleeves these are a gem that i found online uh, my friend recommended these to me and i was like I was very skeptical at first because um, I was like, you know, it's very cheap. It's, it's is this? Are you sure this is legit? So I bought I bought a few on my first batch. I only bought ten. Tens might seem a lot, but buying ten of those is equal to buying two pack of these. So definitely very value. If you guys have a lot of decks, then you guys can definitely get this. But if you guys want to buy these, I think you can try to use their website. I buy these off. From China, so uh, kind of stays on the shipping. But you, have, you guys are interested in trying these out, you guys can go to this uh, website, uh, RayShen.com.tw. RSS looks cheap, but definitely give it a try. If you guys don't like it, then it's fine. It, it, it doesn't cost much, right? But yeah, you guys are looking for Japanese brands, then you guys can look for broccoli and uh, Yanoma and. I'll give, guys, I'll give shout outs to some of the old sleeves that I've been using. So besides these ones, there's actually still sleeves that I use in some of my decks, uh, especially for the minis. Um, if you guys don't like super thin sleeves like the RSS ones or the Z, uh, super thick ones like the Z ones, then you can try using the Kara Guard sleeves. So these aren't completely transparent like the other ones I've shown you guys. They are a little bit... Let's see here. My clear set deck is using this, so they have um, a little bit of a border there, so you guys can use these if you guys want. They, these are a little bit thicker than the broccoli ones, but they are thinner than the Z ones. So 
So these are kind of in the middle. I like to use these um, for my Vanguard decks. The downside for these ones though is that the corners chip super easily. So that's why I don't use these in, in tournaments. Um, most of the time when you guys use, when I use these sleeves, the, the corners will chip within like a month of use. So that's why I don't like these, but they look nice. I, I, I like the border. You guys, um, they don't have this border for standard size sleeves though. They do have it for, they have a different one for uh, standard ones. I'll show you guys this. My Duke Mon deck is using those. So this is the gold foil one, the gold frame one. So here it, here it is. It looked like this. Uh, they also have this in silver. So depending on what color you like, you guys can choose. But these are nice. If you look, if you have um, waifu sleeves, then you guys can use these uh, sleeves. It'll frame it. It'll look, it'll look very nice. But if not, then you guys can just use the standard clear ones. So images will be edited in and you guys can see what the, the packing looks like. You guys are unsure. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I, I, I mainly made this video. I, I, make, I make this like once every one or two years just because there's so many people asking me what kind of overseas I'm using in my videos. So yeah, hope you guys, hopefully this guy, this will help you guys. But this is Karakaku, and I'll see you guys next time. Make sure to use the affiliate link down below if you guys want to support the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!